Power. Power. The city of testimonies. I'm solo born from Abraka. Indeed, the city of testimony. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My testimony is like a series. I was there like a month or three about a month ago to testify what the Lord did for me. I came here 21st of January this year. That was the first time I came here. And when I entered the church, I made three requests from this altar. One, God should give me a job. Two, for my wife to deliver successfully. Three, that God will expand my business. People of God, I'm here to return all their glory back to God. The second Sunday when I came here in, in February, when I bought the handband and spiritual items, then the church has, you know, it's closed already. It made me Papa shook his hand with me. The first question he asked me, where's your wife? I told him he was not here. So he said, I should bring my wife the next day. And it was that fasting period. So the next day I came with my wife. And maybe it was done preaching. The first person he called, see that woman standing close to that people come here. It was my wife. So when I came with her, with her he said, okay, your wife be this? I said, yes. He said, the devil wants to kill their head with the pregnancy. That very day, as for, he said, she'll bring water. He prayed and he prayed for my wife. And he told her, baby alive, mother alive. So as time goes on, we keep on praying. There was a day she went for her routine checkup. The doctor said the baby is not in the right position. It's in a breached position. I called Papa. Papa said, just come and see me tomorrow evening. He speaks so relaxed. I said, I'm scared. He said, you don't need to be scared. Just come and see me tomorrow. We came. He told my wife, don't worry. In the next one week, this baby will be in the right position. Head down, leg up. Gave her water. Exactly one week, the baby went to this, the right position. Hallelujah. Come on, can somebody celebrate Jesus better? After which, we keep expecting. Daddy gave us an assignment, gave my wife an assignment, we did it. To God be the glory. On Thursday, I called Papa. I said, the D-Day is here. He said, don't worry. He said, let me, let me quote his word. He said, one thing I assure you, baby alive, mother alive. That's all. And that gave me, it has a guarantee. I told my wife, go, go ahead. Daddy has said it already. They went, and about a few minutes to four, baby alive, mother alive. Tim, if you can rise up and shout this amen. Yes, sir. Whatever the enemy has planned for you, any evil prey that has been dug for your sake, they will fall into it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can you shout that amen better? Amen. Uh, that means the job come, yes, the sir. baby alive, mother alive, yes, sir. and the expansion of your business. Yes, there is a covenant on this earth. Yes, yes, sir. Less than three months. Three months. Sir. Less than three months. Yes, sir. If you can lift up your hands to him, that's yes, it. And repeat after me. That whatever pain I come here with today. Say whatever pain I come here with today. Whatever pain I come here with today. Jesus, take it away from Jesus. me. Jesus, take it away from and me. And give me everlasting testimony. And give me everlasting testimony. Amen. Amen. That is something when I was reading this prayer. That day I did not go out. I did not step out because of this matter. Because the case was very, very crucial to the extent that may not understand if I said it because you are not you are not deep in spirit realm to that extent. They were telling me that they have taken one before. That this one they will still take this one because you people are the same. That is the same covenant in the family. That's my elder brother, sir. That is your elder brother. She's here. She's here. Then that they will still take this one. I battled with this matter for complete four hours. When you were calling me that I should respond to you, I did not respond to you for a while. Yes, sir. In fact, when I did call you that you should go ahead. Yes, sir. Have a prophet in your life. Yes, sir. Not just a prophet, but a genuine prophet. prophet. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It's good to have a father and a prophet over your life. Even when you sleep, when you are sleeping, he's watching over your knowing to you. I on this matter, I at a point I was feeling that if not me, I forgot the piece this guy did disturb me. I called daddy every call he picks. Like immediately, this is my call, he picks it. Every time, WhatsApp message, he's, Daddy, thank you very much. 
Thank you so very much. Hallelujah. Abdul, can you jump those hands for Jesus? So we celebrate with you and we say your testimony is permanent in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you, sir.